Hey everyone, today I'm doing a bit of a different tutorial. This one here is very, very bright. As you can see, I don't often do super colourful looks, but I thought this was so pretty, I had a few requests to do this look. Perfect for summertime parties, springtime. You could definitely tone this down with less eyeliner, no false eyelashes, and use it during the day even. But seriously, it's perfect for clubbing at night time, especially if you're wearing like a teal dress or something like that, or like even like a white dress and you need to dress it up like... These eyes are freaking cool. I'm not one to wear really bright eyeshadow, but I would definitely leave the house looking like this. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll talk to you soon. First of all, I'm gonna take this Maybelline Color Tattoo in Tenacious Teal, and it's just a teal color. This is gonna make the teal color on the inner corner and in a half pop. I'm just using a synthetic brush to apply this because I want it to be a bit precise since we're applying two different colors to the lid. And then I'm going to take my colour tattoo eyeshadow and this one is in painted purple. It's just a bright purple colour. And I'm going to use the same synthetic brush, just flip it over and apply this on the rest of the lid. Now I'm going in with an eyeshadow that's pretty much the exact same as my skin tone just to make it really easy to blend. This colour here is Orb by MAC and I'm just going to take a blending brush and sweep that in the crease a few times. Because this is a quite a dramatic look I'm going to take a sticker and apply this to my eye. This is going to ensure we get a really nice crisp edge to our eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take this pigment here by Inika or Inika and this colour here is called turquoise and I'm going to press this where I put my teal base so about a third like between a third and halfway across the eye and then I'm taking a purple and this one's by Glamour Doll Eyes and it's called Tattooed and this is going to go on the remainder of the eyelid up to the crease then when you want to blend the two colours in the centre together, you just kind of go back and forth between the two colours and dab it over the line, that's real harsh, and it'll start to blend itself together. You don't want to really take a blending brush and blend it out because you're going to lose intensity of the colour, so it's easier just to go through, I mean, go back and forth with the colours and just pat them on. Now I'm going in with a blending brush and a purple eyeshadow and this one here is Parfait Amour by MAC and I'm going to put this in the crease. I'm also going to take the green and purple underneath my lash line a little bit. And then for the last step I want to lighten up the inner corner a little bit so I'm going to go in with this Inika Inuka pigment and this one here is in candy mint and it's just a lighter kind of greeny color. I find that this color just makes the other green illuminate so I'm going to put that on the inner corner and then just pat it up a little bit. Now I'm going in with Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner and I'm going to put this in my waterline and NYX Collection Noir Black Eyeliner. And then when it comes to the wing I'm just going to follow that line that's already there from the eyeshadow. I'm just using my Bad Gal Lash Mascara because I'm going to be putting on false eyelashes but I want a bit of um, I just got mascara in my eye. The false eyelashes I'm using today are by Nonpareil Boutique and they are the number 10s. Once these are dry I'm going to come back and show you what I'm going to use on the rest of my face. Okay, so that's what the eyes look like. I think they are freaking amazing. Perfect for like partying, night out, spring, summer, that kind of scene. First of all, on my face, as always, I'm going to use a bit of bronzer just to make myself look a bit more bronzed up and glowing and less sick. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with my Bahama Mama by The Balm, yeah The Balm, <laughs> um, just underneath my cheekbones to make my face look a little bit slimmer. 
And then I'm gonna take a kind of bronzy, blushy color. That doesn't make any sense. I'm taking the Fox in a Box by Hard Candy. I think it's Hard Candy. Yes. Because it doesn't go too, too pink, which isn't what I want, because I don't want a billion different colors. Even though I'm gonna do bright pink lips, Now I'm going to take this lip liner here by MAC and it is called Naked. It's just a nude. And then as a base for my lip colour I'm going to be using a pink but I'm just going to go in with a nude first to make it a more creamy pink and this is Peaches and Cream by Anoxa. I'm going in with Dollhouse Pink by Wet n Wild which is like a dupe for MAC Saint Germain, which is my favourite lip colour in the world. And then just to make it a bit creamier, because it looks a bit too matte at the moment, I'm taking Turkish Delight by NARS Lip Gloss, which by the way, I think this is totally overrated, but I need a lip gloss and I barely own any. So this is the finished look. It's a bit different to what I would normally do. Um, very bright obviously. I don't often do bright tutorials but let me know if you like it um, and I'll do some more brighter things. Um, but this picture here was actually put on my Facebook page by one of my viewers. If you ever have any photos that you think that the makeup would really be nice for a tutorial or anything like that, just post it on my Facebook page and I'll save it and if I ever need inspiration one day maybe I'll use it for a tutorial. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you in two days. Bye!